Hello, welcome to today's The Word in a Flash. I'm Freddie Wilson. Today's subject is Above All Else. When I lived in Williamsburg, Virginia, I had a pastor there that preached a sermon called First Things First. I even did a message about the same subject. And it all talks about how you must do some things in order before you get to the other things. First thing first. Many years ago, over 25 years now, uh, Stephen Covey wrote a book called um, First Things First. And in that book, it was mainly a management book to talk about the priority of things that you need to do before you can proceed on to the next. Part of Stephen Covey's book is called The Main Thing is to Keep the Main Thing the Main Thing. That is very good advice for us who, in a world where you're constantly pulled in different directions and you don't know what things to focus on. So you need to keep first things first and the main thing the main thing. Solomon taught us the main things. Among his instructions to his son, he says, Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. We can paraphrase Solomon's instruction to his son by saying something like, um, The main thing is to guard your heart, above all else, because from your heart are the things that flows, so you need to guard your heart above all else. When you've been pulled in all directions, guard your heart. You know, Solomon focused a lot on wisdom. The main wisdom he focused on was righteous living. In order for you to know righteous living, you got to know God's word. You got to know God's will. But you need to um, strive for righteous living. Solomon writes in Proverbs 1 and 3, that for receiving instruction in prudent behavior, doing what is right and just and fair. He again says in Proverbs 2 and 9, when you understand what is right and just and fair, every good path. Uh, this is why we must guard our heart to stay in righteous living. I have to ask you something. What occupies your heart? What are your values? What are your dreams? These are important because these things fill the thoughts of your heart. You must understand these are the things that Jesus referred to when he says, Out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. That uh, was quoted back in Matthew 12 and 34. So you got to keep these things in mind that what's in your heart is some of the things that come out of your mouth. So you need to learn how to clean your heart. If you treasure good things, that is what will flow out of your mouth. Words of encouragement, peace, and joy. However, if you treasure bad things, that is what will flow. You will speak words of criticism, fear, confusion, and doubt. Solomon himself failed to guard his heart and eventually ended up in failure. So I must ask, are you keeping the main thing the main thing? Are you guarding your heart? If not, you need to. Don't wait on a crisis to call on the name of the Lord. I learned through experience and from the past that you should always pray first and then move forward. Remember that thing I was telling you about uh, first thing first? Prayer first before you do anything. And you also need to love yourself. I, I've learned there's a lot of self-hate going on in the world today. So in order for you to find love uh, or being able to love someone else, you need to first love yourself. There's no way you can love someone else until you learn to love yourself first. Hebrews 9 and 15 reads, That is why he is the one who mediates on new covenant between God and people so that all who are called can receive the eternal inheritance God has promised them. For Christ died to set them free from the penalty of the sins they have committed 
on the first covenant. There's scripture found in James 3, 13 through 17 that sums it all up. James 3, 13 through 17 reads, If you are wise and understand God's ways, prove it by living an honorable life, doing good works and with humility that comes from wisdom. But if you are bitterly jealous and there is selfish ambition in your heart, don't cover up the truth with boasting and lying. For jealousy and selfishness are not God's kind of wisdom. Such things are earthly, unspiritual, and demon demonic. For wherever there is jealousy and self-ambition, there you will find disorder and evil of every kind. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure. It is also peace-loving, gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. It is full of mercy and good deeds. It shows no favoritism and is always sincere. Always listen to the word of God and be willing to gain more knowledge. And in all the knowledge you gain, never let go of the fear of the Lord. I'm not talking about the fear of uh, the scary kind of fear. I'm talking about full reverence of the Lord because you know that he sees all. He knows all. So you need to understand that and know that there's nothing you can do that he cannot see. So you need to keep your fear of the Lord real. Or you may start doing a lot of things that you think is important. Not what God thinks is important. Never try to do things your way unless you know that you're following the will of God. Proverbs 1, 29-31 reads, For they hated knowledge and chose not to fear the Lord. They rejected my advice and paid no attention when I corrected them. Therefore, they must eat the bitter fruit of living their own way, choking on their own schemes. Quit trying to do things your way. Your way oftentimes gets out of order. I learned years ago that you got to do first things first. When you get things out of order, chaos ensues. We sometimes try to talk our way out of our mistakes. We need to start being an example to the rest of the world. When the world looks at you, they need to see you as an example, not just by your words. Above all else, keep God's will in your view as you live your lives. You have to get and keep things in order. There's a prayer I read the other day that I think is important. I'd like to share it with you. Lord, when I am rushed and hurried in the midst of life, let me keep the main thing the main thing. Please give me the heart commitment I need. When I face temptation, let me be prepared. In the quiet of the morning or the evening, let me set up the defenses by meditating on your word and hiding, hiding it in my heart. When I hear the preacher or the teacher, let me hide that word in my heart. Give me, Lord, a godly perspective to see what is above all else. Amen. Remember to keep your focus on the Word of God above all else. Everybody has an opinion, but you shouldn't focus on your opinion, but only on the Word of God. And with that, be blessed.